the shepherds, we come to the stable uncertain of what we have heard and seen, longing to hear a word of peace and joy. Like the wise ones, we have journeys to make, gifts to offer, and hope in our hearts that this world can change for the better. Here in the stillness of a winter's night, we gather to share the light of Christ, a light that shines in the nightfall. We gather in the wonder of this night to share our joy and thanks for new life. Advent, the season of preparing, is nearly over. After wait, our waiting is nearly finished. Now is the time of fulfillment and celebration. In the darkness of night, we give thanks for light. We light a candle of hope. Hope for ourselves and for God's beloved world. We light a candle of peace. Peace in our hearts and on earth. We light a candle of joy. joy to the world and within our whole being. We light a candle of love. The promise of God's love for us and for all creation. And now the hour has come and the season is fulfilled. We light the Christ candle. the light of the world, the light of possibility. Amen. Though he was God, he didn't think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges, took the humble position of a slave, and was born as a human being. Therefore, God elevated him to the place of highest honor and gave him the name that is above all names, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven, on earth, and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Heavenly Father. Regardless of where you are joining us from this evening, welcome to the Wells' first ever and what we hope will be our last virtual Christmas Eve service. But we're glad that you're with us. Merry Christmas. The Lord himself will give you a son. The virgin is going to have a baby. She will give birth to a son and he will be called Emmanuel. Isaiah seven fourteen. A child will be born to us. A son will be given to us. He will rule over us, and he will be called Wonderful Advisor and Mighty God. He will also be called Father who lives forever and Prince who brings peace.
In the sixth month after Elizabeth had become pregnant, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee. He was sent to a virgin. The girl was engaged to a man named Joseph. He came from the family line of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel greeted her and said, The Lord has blessed you in a special way. He is with you. Mary was very upset because of his words. She wondered what kind of greeting this could be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. The Lord God will make him a king like his father David of long ago. The Son of the Most High God will rule forever over his people. They are from the family line of Jacob. That kingdom will never end. How can this happen? Mary asked the angel. I am a virgin. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come to you. The power of the Most High God will cover you. So the Holy One that is born will be called the Son of God. Your relative Elizabeth, she will have a child even though she is old. People thought she could not have children, but she has been pregnant for six months now. That's because what God says will always come true. I serve the Lord, Mary answered. May it happen to me just as you said it would. Then the angel left her.
the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary and Joseph had promised to get married, but before they started to live together, it became clear that she was going to have a baby. She became pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph was faithful to the law, but he did not want to put her to shame in public, so he planned to divorce her quietly. But as Joseph was thinking about this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. The baby inside her is from the Holy Spirit. She is going to have a son. You must give him the name Jesus. That's because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to bring about what the Lord said would happen. He had said through the prophet, the virgin is going to have a baby. She will give birth to a son and he will be called Emmanuel. The name Emmanuel means God with us. And 
In those days, Caesar Augustus made a law. It required that a list be made of everyone in the whole Roman world. It was the first time a list was made of the people while Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone went to their own town to be listed, so Joseph went also. He went from the town of Nazareth and Galilee to Judah. That is where Bethlehem, the town of David, was. Joseph went there because he belonged to the family line of David. He went there with Mary to be listed. Mary was engaged to him. She was expecting a baby. While Joseph and Mary were there, the time came for the child to be born. She gave birth to her first baby. It was a boy. She wrapped him in large strips of cloth. Then she placed him in a manger. That's because there was no guest room where they could stay.
There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby. It was night, and they were taking care of their sheep. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified, but the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Here is how you will know I am telling the truth. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a large group of angels from heaven also appeared. They were praising God. They said, May glory be given to God in the highest heaven, and may peace be given to those he is pleased with on earth. The angels left and went into heaven. Then the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem. Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby. The baby was lying in a manger. Luke 2, 8 through 16. Go tell it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere go tell it on the mountain that jesus christ is born while shepherds kept their watching over silent flocks by night behold throughout the heavens there shone a holy light Shepherds fear and tremble when low above the earth. Ring out the angels' chorus that hailed our Savior's birth. Earth, go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. And down in a lowly Christ was born. God sent us salvation that blessed Christmas born. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. That Jesus Christ God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power when we had gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy, oh, tidings comfort and joy. In Bethlehem in Israel this blessed babe was born and laid within a manger upon this blessed morn. The witch's mother Mary did nothing take in scorn. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. From God our Heavenly Father, a blessed angel came. Two certain shepherds brought tidings of the same, how that in Bethlehem was born the Son of God by name. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy, oh, tidings.
Now to the Lord sing praises, all you within this place. And with true love and brotherhood, each other now embrace. This holy tide of Christmas, all others doth deface. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea. This happened while Herod was king of Judea. After Jesus' birth, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. They asked, Where is the child who has been born to be king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose. Now we have come to worship him. Matthew 2, verses 1 and 2. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men. He found out from them exactly when the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem. He said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report it to me. Then I can go and worship him too. After the wise men had listened to the king, they went on their way. The star, the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them. It finally stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. The wise men went to the house. There, there they saw the child with his mother Mary. They bowed, him, they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures. They gave him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But God warned them in a dream not to go back to Herod. So they returned to their country on a different road. already there. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. All the things were made through him. Nothing that 
has been made was made without him. Life was in him, and that life was the light for all people. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not overcame the light. John 1, 9-14 The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. You were the word at the beginning, one with God the Lord most high. Hidden glory in creation now revealed in you are Christ. What a beautiful name it is! What a beautiful name it is! The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is! Nothing compares to. Your love is greater 
What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a beautiful name it is. The name. Thank you. 